these people are mostly after one thing. The primary reason why people want to access America is ultimately for the betterment of their kids. I've come to this event in Dubai to understand how this all works. It's all part of the US government's EB-5 visa program, or sometimes also called green card by investment. Eight years ago, around this time, was my very first seminar in this room. This is Shay. He's the founder of the American Legal Center, which specializes in helping people through the program. You don't have a passport, but you're on your way to it. So basically, if you invest about a half a million dollars into a real estate project in the U.S., that can put you on the path to become a permanent resident. He's rented this hotel to educate people on how it works and make some new clients. My clients are, I would say, in the upper middle class. Um, it's, it's really not for the highest echelon of earners. Sometimes we do get them, but I would say upper middle class family that um, parents are working and they're really focused on creating opportunities for their kids. Back in 1990, Congress started the program where foreigners could invest in the US and be rewarded with a green card in an expedited process. Shea is a lawyer who studied at UCLA and went to law school at University of Miami. He's now made this his business. We've got clients coming out of you know India, um, Syria, Iran, um, all throughout the Middle East. President Trump made it harder for people to do this, raising that minimum investment from $500,000 to $900,000. But under Biden, it was brought back down to half a million. The investment must create 10 full-time jobs in the US. And it's expected that after five years, people can get their investment back. So New York's Ritz-Carlton Hotel recently saw more than $100 million come from essentially foreign money. So the investment does have uh, an interest um, attached to it, albeit it's not very big. So, you know, developers can access um, loans and grants um, to be able to build. So really what they're doing is instead of taking that higher interest rate from Bank of America or what have you, they're taking on foreign investors and either they're repaying that more expensive debt or using cheaper access to financing to complete their projects. Mm -hmm. And so the projects win, the US economy wins by virtue of the 10 jobs being created for each family. The family's happy as they have access to the US and they're, they're all rewarded as well. So for their application to go through, they need to prove up that 10 new jobs were hired on that project and then pay back the investors. And what are the big trends since Biden took office? Since Biden took office, um, there has been this renaissance of immigration to the U.S. in different facets. It, it hasn't come fast enough, but at the very least, the Muslim ban that was put into place under the Trump administration as Biden promised, it went away immediately. Each year, 10,000 visas are up for grabs. About 80% of applications traditionally have been coming out of China because there's such a demand. But no country is allowed to take more than 700 of the slots. So if your money is coming from China or India, that makes it a lot more competitive. A few years back, um, essentially visas ran out for Chinese nationalities and their waiting times are about triple everybody else. Parents are really trying to set their kids up. Uh, so that they can ultimately benefit from the U.S., be able to get educated. As of today though, this program was just put on pause. What's up guys? Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this program? And while you're at it, check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.